How many of us get on social media and actually feel bad about our lives? And if that's the case, social media has become toxic for you as well too. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back uh, to another video. Uh, before we get started with how social media has become toxic, uh, for me. Uh, I just want to start off with a huge reminder that Ramadan is only, 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 only uh, three months away. Depending on when you see this, probably even less, depending on when you see it. So uh, I want us to prepare for Ramadan. I'm preparing for Ramadan for the next three months or so. I want you to prepare with me. And if you're watching these videos, you're preparing with me already. Uh, we are doing the Asma al-Husna, the 99 names of Allah. Uh, I believe we're on num name number seven right now. I could be mistaken. Tell me in the comment section if I am. Uh, today's name is Al-Ghani. Al-Ghani, okay? A lot of us might know this name as a self-sufficient, and this name is really important. I've picked these names according to the topic of what we're talking about today. If you haven't figured that out already, like every topic that we have has a name, there's a name associated to it, okay? Al-Ghani means the one who is self-sufficient, doesn't need anything at all, doesn't have any desire, need, just, just self-sufficient, they're good by themselves. You understand? That's what Al-Ghani means. Why has social media become so toxic for me, me personally? Now, when I say this, more than likely, a lot of you are going to vibe. A lot of you are going to be like, yo, Esku, I feel the same exact way. Let me tell you the inception of how this happened. So I'm waiting for the Phoenix Suns game. They, they got blown out yesterday, right? And all these out, you know, external, if you're ever feeling bad, right, like sad, or all of a sudden like this overwhelming sensation of just sadness started to creep up on you, ask yourself what external situations are you giving more power to that's dictating and determining your mood? Okay. Social media plays a big role in determining your mood because that's we because we've over empowered social media. We've over empowered it. We've we've made it like our standard. Okay. I'm using my phone, post a video or whatever I'm doing right on on, on Instagram, and while my video is like posting, you know, like is that blue bar? Like I'm waiting. I read the first post underneath. Now, personally, like, this is something you wouldn't really know, but I've stopped like checking Instagram, right? It's become unhealthy for me for the reason that I'm about to mention right now. Um, I go to the first pay, uh, post and I can't even remember what it was. Wallahi, I don't. And it's like Instagram like knows what to show me. But I remember feeling inadequate. I remember feeling less. I remember feeling less important. I, I remember feeling washed up. I remember feeling um, like I'm a nobody. This is coming from an influencer, by the way. Influencer. Whatever that word means. Let me tell you what social media is. Let me just jump to the chase. All right? Let me cut to the chase. Social media is just a competition of who could show off the best. That's all it is. That's literally what it is. Who could show off the best? Who could portray a lifestyle, a way of something that, that just shows that they are better? The post that I'm reading, what am I seeing? People showing, showing off, like, who are they with? Who are they collabing with? What charity are they working with? What organization, what brand are sponsoring them? Now, I obviously have sponsorship too, so I understand how that works. But there's some people who have made this thing where they want to show you so that they could see that I'm successful. Look who I'm collaborating with. Look who I'm... When we do that, we're feeding the machine. We're feeding it. We're feeding it. We get more and more lost. And notice, I don't follow any like non-Muslims besides one person, right? But may Allah guide them as well. I don't really follow any anyone and th this is the following that and now i'm not saying that muslims are trying to make other people feel bad but we have to remember something now this is me imagine how much ayn and hasad i could have put on this person on these people imagine how much ayn and hasad is already getting put on them and on you and on me when we are coming off as we're showing off and that might not even be our intentions but do you know like some people don't realize how it comes off it just looks like you're competing and you're trying to show and you're trying to stunt who you're hanging out with and what you're doing or i'm i'm making a video i'm doing this and that and look i've been a part of the problem i've been there too i've been a part of the problem it's not just like, oh, it's you, 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 no, me. And I've realized that how many I could have made people such as yourself watching this feel that way. 
So many of you watching this could feel this way now. Like, yo, I, I, like you compare yourself. And that's what I found myself doing. I was comparing myself to them. And I felt smaller. I felt less. Each time I compared myself, to, I felt less. So I got off that. And I wasn't... I. This wasn't happening, this type of awareness and awakeness wasn't happening in the moment. It happened like when I turned off Instagram. And I just started reciting, uh, you know, like, like, like Quran. <laughs> Honestly, I got so worried because like, I started feeling mad bad after that. You get me? Like, I started feeling this, all this like negative energy, like for real. And, and, and obviously, Allahumma barik and may Allah protect all those who are watching because I don't want to give anyone ayin or hasid or evil eye or nothing. You know, I don't want to... Bro, the black magic, evil eye, iron, that's all real. That's really, that's all real. <laughs> My daughters are playing over there. The reason I'm sharing this with you guys is like, we find ourselves comparing our lives to other people's lives. We find ourselves doing that. And I found myself doing that as someone who's supposed to be more woke or aware. And I found myself doing that shit. So I'm like, yo, how many of y'all are doing that out there? How many of us get on social media and actually feel bad about our lives? And if that's the case, social media has become toxic for you as well too. And I hope that this video is helping you realize that, yo, you're enough. I'm enough. I don't need more. And I don't need more after looking at what they have. And you get on this rat race of chasing. You start chasing. And it's not just like, oh, oh, they're, they're collaborating with someone or they're on a trip or they're traveling and I'm not. Forget that. What about when there's some latest Muslim breaking news? Oh, shit. Ali Dawa just posted about it. I'm late. I need to get on top of this. I'm not a tabloid writer. That's what, that's what this does. Oh, get on it. Oh, someone just took off their hijab. Get on that shit right now. Oh, Umm Abdullah, just get on it right now. Bro. That shit is, this is, yo, poison, bro. That, how can a person perfect their intentions when they behave this way? And this is not a diss against anyone. I'm dissing myself. This is how I'm acting. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm not going to like get off the grid or anything because I know I bring benefit to people. Alhamdulillah, from the permission of Allah, not from me. I don't want it. I don't want it. The only way I don't want you. I, I stopped saying subscribe to my channel. Hey, 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 baby, hey, baby. You came. You left the park. That is very unsafe, Midi John. That's not okay. Oh, say sorry to Allahji for disrespecting your parents. I got off of it and I realized I needed to check myself one more time. I started, you know, sending salawats on the Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and that helped me immediately. So if you're someone out there who gets on social media and it's causing you anxiety, looking at it, or you feel bad, or you don't feel adequate enough, or you feel less than. Yo, send salawat on the messenger salsa. Look at the lives. These are not real problems. These are not real problems. And I realized that I was a part of the problem. I don't want you to subscribe anymore. I don't want you to follow me anymore. I don't. I don't want anything. Allah is sufficient for me. And that is what Al-Ghani means. Allah is self-sufficient. How do we apply this name? Because Allah is sufficient for us. We don't need anything else. If we want to apply the name of Allah Azzawajal, of this name Al-Ghani, which means Allah is self-sufficient, He needs nothing, then we need to apply this name by relying on that name, relying on the one and only. Allah is sufficient for us. Allah is sufficient for us. You and I need nothing else. You're enough. You don't need nothing else. You're enough. I'm enough. I don't need to jump. My, my value isn't based upon numbers, views, and likes. and it, it, That's not what it is. That's not what yours is either. This, we've always, as human beings, as, na, as, as insan, as insan, Allah has created us in a way where we, 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 we desire. This FOMO is not a, it's a real thing. It's in us. The fear of missing out is in us. A lot of the people who didn't accept Islam in Mecca, it was FOMO. They were like, yo, if I accepted Islam, it's not like they don't know it's wrong. And like Islam is right. It's not, they know it's right. But what are people going to say? What are my family going to say about me, bro? That's, that's FOMO. You're worried about people's opinions. You're worried about fitting in. You're fear, the fear of missing out on what? Whatever the hell they wanted. But we need to have FOMA. Let's see if this works. Yeah, the fear of meeting Allah. Right? Not FOMO, FOMA. So let's have a little bit more FOMA, inshallah. 
And let's remember that Allah is enough for us. We are enough. We are enough. So remember, you're enough. You're enough. You're self-sufficient. Allah is self-sufficient. You are weak. You are weak. And what's supposed to make you sufficient is the connection with the one who is the most and only one who is the ultimate epitome, absolute sufficient, who is Al Ghani. I appreciate you watching and uh, spending some time with me. I pray that this video brought you some benefit. And uh, until next time, I'm out.